Today we're here at Bright in Victoria's high country to test out the brand new Siskiyou TE. So you heard that right, the Siskiyou T range is now available in an e-bike. So the acoustic Polygon Siskiyou T is one of the most popular trail bikes on the market. And that's for good reason. It introduced great value spec and decent geometry at an affordable price point. And the Siskiyou TE is no exception to that. It just adds a motor and you get pretty similar geometry as well. So you get that nice, decently slack 65 degree head angle, 465 millimeter reach on the size medium, and you're getting some decently short chain stays for an e-bike. So they're 445 millimeters as well. And you're getting 140 millimeters of rear travel and an awesome 150 up front. So it's really pitched at being a great do-it-all bike to hit any kind of trail that you want. So there are two models in the lineup. You've got the T6E here and the T7E. So we'll dig into the T6E first. And the main difference between these bikes is the motor and the battery, as well as the spec as well. So digging into the T6E first, you're getting a 504 watt hour battery, as well as the new Shimano EP6 motor. So you're getting the same 85 newton meters of torque as the EP8, just at a slight weight penalty. So I think it's a great value option if you're looking to get into an E-mountain bike. So digging a bit more into the suspension now, and you're getting the Suntour Zero and Fork, which actually performed really well on the trail out here, and that's matched to a Suntour Edge shock, so an inline shock in the rear, and this was a really nice, playful, poppy setup. Moving on to the brakes now, and you need some great brakes when it comes to e-bikes, because let's face it, they are heavier, so you need to be able to stop so we've got SRAM Kodar brakes, so plenty of stopping power, and they're matched to 203 millimeter rotors. So awesome amount of stopping power there. Moving on to the cockpit now, and you can see the switch in the display. So it's a really nice switch here. You can see the assistance level at a quick glance based on the LEDs. So you've got four levels off, eco, trail, and boost. And then if you want to push it up the hill, there's also a handy walk mode as well. And if you want a bit more information, the display is nice and sleek, but it gives you everything that you need. So moving on to the drivetrain now, and you've got a Shimano Dior 11 speed setup. So I really like that the Dior cassettes on here because it's all steel. So it's just going to wear a fair bit better when it comes to an e-bike, you do chew through drivetrains a little bit more. And because it's Dior, it's really affordable as well. So if you ever need to replace anything down the track, that's gonna be really easy to do. To round it all off, we've got some nice tubeless compatible wheels from Entity and they're wrapped in Schwalbe hands damp tires. So these are really nice and fast rolling tires, which I think suits this bike really well. And they're 2.6 inches wide. So they're gonna give you a load of grip and they're gonna be well damped as well. So it just makes the ride a little bit more comfortable. And then not to forget all the commenters online, there is room for a little water bottle down here as well. So that rounds off the Siskiyou T6E. Let's move on to the T7E now. And I think this is gonna be a great option for those people who are spending a little bit more time out on the trails and gonna be hitting something a little bit more gnarly. So in terms of similarities to the T6E, you're getting the same great SRAM Kodar brakes, so plenty of stopping power, and it's the same switch and display. But where you do differ is the battery and the motor. So you're getting a 630 watt hour battery. So again, if you're doing these big Alpine Epic days like we're doing in Bright, you're gonna really appreciate that bigger battery. And then that battery is combined with the Shimano EP8 motor. So again, same power as the T6E, but it's just a little bit lighter because the casing's made from magnesium as opposed to alloy. But other than that battery size, what you're gonna really notice is the difference in suspension performance. So the Suntour Aeon fork, I'm really surprised at how this fork feels. It's nice and stiff, and it's got a really nice supple feel off the top, which is definitely welcome on these braking bumps here on the trails at Bright. But the big difference that you're gonna really notice is that tri-air shock in the rear. As you can see, that piggyback, the rear suspension on e-bikes has to work even harder. And then on these long Alpine days out here, you're gonna really appreciate the fade-free suspension performance. So it's just gonna keep the rear suspension just that little bit cooler. And the other main difference you're gonna notice, you've got a Shimano 12-speed drivetrain. So again, good to see they're sticking with that Dior cassette. Begin that SLX shifter and SLX derailleur as well. So a little bit nicer shifting there. So which bike would I recommend for each type of rider? So I think the more affordable T6E, I think it's just a great option for someone who's looking to get into e-mountain biking, just riding everything from XC trails, not doing anything super crazy, but just wanna get on the trails and have fun. I think this is gonna be a great option. Moving on to the T7E now, and I think if you kinda of do stuff like we are here, where you've got those big Alpine days, that extra battery is just gonna help you out. And I think the suspension performance, you notice that if you're a bit more experienced, you're gonna really appreciate that 
as well as the fade free suspension thanks to that piggyback shock but with all that being said both bikes really impressed me and despite the weight of an e-bike it's actually really surprisingly fun so i'm going to pass it off to mari now as well as the polygon factory team and they're going to talk about their experiences on the bike as well so passing on to mari now and tell us a little bit about your riding experience and what you do here at bikes online and then how the bikes felt ah thanks phil my name is mari um i work for bikes online as a copywriter yeah so i've been riding for the past 20 years and i've been riding e-mountain bikes for the past five years now and I have to say, I'm really impressed with both bikes, as you said. Uh, the first day, I remember we trying this one and um, it was really nice to get in the more like uh, close town trails and more cross country rides. And even on the technical uh, uphills that we had, a couple of climbs, this bike performed really, really well. Uh, this suspension was really impressed. And I was really impressed as well with the weight. I know to some people the weight might be a problem, but to me, it's actually a safety feature. It makes the bike more planted for me on the trails, going uphill and downhill. But then yesterday, when we rode this little guy here, I was extra impressed because you can definitely feel the difference on the suspension. And for me as well, um, as I said, I'm, uh, I've been riding bikes for a while now. Um, I'm an amateur rider, of course, and um, those bikes are super, super fun. They're super playful, easy for me. You see, like I'm a small person, easy for me to jump, easy for me to preload, easy for me to control. And yeah, again, the weight gives me so much stability. I was super impressed with the bikes. I can't say good things enough about it. So now we're gonna pass it on to Dan and Jack from the factory team, and they're gonna let you know how the bikes ride as well. Hey, it's Dan Wolf here with Jack, and uh, we're from Polygon Factory Racing. Got like about, I think, three years under my belt on the Siskiyou T range back home and it is my go-to bike back in Ireland. So starting today, I definitely had high expectations, I guess you could say, about what this was gonna feel like. Uh, for me, the biggest thing would be making sure it brings over the vibe of the Siskiyou bike, and it has, it's been really playful. I've absolutely loved it. This bike is equipped with a Shimano EP8 motor and a 630 watt battery, so it's got a big range. Look at this legend! You Oh, she was flying. Um, so yeah, if you're into your big spins, or trust me, if one friend in your group has an e-bike and they've got a bigger battery, you're gonna be jealous. So I think just biting the bullet and going straight up to a 630 watt battery is gonna make a huge difference. All right, so that's enough from me on the bike here on the Siskiyou T7e. I'm gonna pass you over to Jack now and he's gonna talk about his Siskiyou T6e. My first time actually putting an e-bike on trail and getting it to its paces, and this was the bike for me to do it. I think it's a great bike if you're trying to get into e-mountain bikes. Uh, I haven't ridden the Siskiyou, but like Dan said, it was they brought a trail bike into an e-bike, and it felt real playful. And I definitely felt that on the on the trail. It was easy to maneuver, easy to pull up over roots and sink into corners, and blast today pedaling it around and putting it through its paces, and it it stood up to it for me. So there you go, that's the brand new Polygon Siskiyou TE. We absolutely love this bike. And as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate in reaching out to one of our gearheads. Thanks for watching, see ya. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about my feelings. So, where you are, uh, Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. So where you are, your name. Then get straight to the on. feelings, yeah. I'm Dan Wolf from Polygon Factory Racing Team, or from the Polygon Factory Racing Team. I'm gonna start again. Ah, okay, and this is Jacko. Yeah, he's just there. Yeah. Uh, um, I'm gonna talk first about my bike. Um, the birds could just give me a second. 